What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. Today's video is my second shot of trying to get a full box of SM9B Full Metal Wall recorded. Now, as most of you know, my first box got corrupted because I didn't let my camera like rest after so long. So the footage got corrupted. It's kind of just, I don't know, some little weird thing with my camera now. So as long as I'm careful and I do what I'm supposed to, this video should be fine. But we are not gonna waste any more time. We are gonna jump straight into this because I am excited to see if we can pull that full art. What is it? Blue search? Yeah, Japanese, it's blue search in English it is will be green search so yep just a quick little glance at the box here very cool art like all of these tag team GX boxes have been okay let's get into this man it's been a while since I've had trouble getting getting the tops of these open there we go all right there is our 30 packs slowly take it out Throw the box to the side. All right, let's get into this. Right side of the box we're going to open first, like we normally do. And then I will take a little, little break, just to let my camera cool down, and then we will open the left side of the box. Okay, first pack here. Let's get this thing cut open. There we go. All right, let's see what we can get here. Oops, one to the front. We've got this trainer that I still don't know the name of or remember it. We've got an Aaron, a Glamiao, Squirtle, and then we have an Arbok, which very cool art though. I like that one. Okay, pack number two. I gotta say guys, uh, if you are a Pokemon YouTube channel or just a Pokemon collector in general, seriously check out Amazon Japan because this box came so quick and I have found some just the most random stuff. Ooh, Lucario Hollow there. Which, if you haven't seen this one, he looks kind of derpy, but still cool. But anyways, I have found some of the most random stuff on there and it's like really cheap too. It's about what they would pay in Japan for it. Maybe a little bit more. So you, take that little explanation there as we're going to have some very cool stuff here coming to the channel that is not Pokemon card related, but it is Pokemon related. And maybe some other random crap that I've found too. But either way, it'll be cool, trust me. Okay, so nothing major yet. Three packs in. All we've gotten is that Lucario Hollow. Let's see here. I believe this is Abandoned Power Station. Something like that. Riolu, a Slowpoke, Ekans, and a Hollow Crobat, which was one of the ones we pulled a double of in the first video. So hopefully we don't get a double of Crobat. All right, next pack. Now, Double Blaze SM10 comes out this week, I believe. Uh,. And it's, I mean, the set looks very awesome. Another very cool Komiya art there. Her ugly sitting in a sink, jeez. But anyways, the set looks very awesome. A lot of nice looking cards in it. A lot of cool, very cool GXs. But it has the full art red card and the full art Giovanni card. So the full art trainers in this set is go are going to be absolutely insane. So, you will see, oh, hey, Celesteela GX. First hit there. This one I didn't pull in the first, my first box. So I'm actually happy with that. It's the cheapest GX in this set. Uh, but you know what? I still need it, so. And it does have some different artwork than the original one. I believe the original one was steel. And this one here is colorless. So, eh, it's, it's cool. I'll take it. Like I said, didn't have it. But as I was saying, we will have a lot of double blaze here on the channel because I want Giovanni's Exile and I forget what Red's is. Red's, it's not Red's Surge. I forget right offhand, but either way, I want them. They look so cool. 
Also, if you would like to check out the translations for that set, I will link the translations video for SM10 Double Blaze right up here in the corner in the iCard. Click on over there, check that one out. Let's see here in this next pack, still nothing major, about halfway through the first, like, side. We've got a Metapod, a Laren, and ooh, okay, Hollow Melmetal. One of my favorite Hollows in the set, very happy to have that one. I think that's my third one now. Ooh, already dropping packs. All right, let's see here. I did see uh, Brayish Gaming got a full box. Well, the last box he opened had all of the GXs in it, which was amazing. Sweet. Oh, there we go. There is Blue Search. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the full art of that card in this box. Either way, I'm going to have it. I'm going to buy it. I'm just waiting for the right time to strike here. All right, what do we got? Five packs left on the right side? Okay, we've got, oh, Arbok and then Ekans. We got a Puky Muky and Aaron. And, oh, there is our trainer rare. Unfortunately, it is one that I did already pull. It was actually an extra in the last box I got. Still very cool B-string. I do like the art on it. You can see Buzzwole, Abomination Clown, and, oh, what's its name? Ultra Necrozma, there we go. There in the background. Either way, very cool reprint there. Very cool hollow. I will take it. Hopefully we get another box with two trainer rares in it. So I can make up for that one. Okay, next pack. Let's see. Ooh, we might actually save the secret rare for the second half. Hopefully, Zubat, Sandshrew, a Caterpie, and what is this? D Evolution Spray Z, I believe. Okay, what, four packs left for the right side. Let's see here what we can scrounge up in this pack, this, well, this right side before it's all said and done. We got a Riolu, a War Turtle, and there is our secret rare. Well, not saving it for the second half of the box, but we did pull the full art Blastoise GX. Now, I am not upset about this. This is a fairly cheap card, but it does look very cool. I do like Blastoise a lot, too. So, I am happy with that. I will take it. And there is always the chance that we're going to get a second Secret Rare in our box, though. So, that may happen. You never know. But very cool. Blastoise full art there. Sit you up there. All right. Three packs left. Man, we've already pulled our trainer rare and our secret rare out of the right side. Uh, hopefully we do get something else in the left or it's gonna be quite a boring side. We got Golbat, a Meltan, and that guy again. Okay, two packs left here. Let's see what we can get. One to the front. We've got Aggron to start off with, Squirtle, a Hitmontop, a Laron, and a Beastbringer. Another Beastbringer. Ooh, geez. Once again, all over the place. All right, here we go. Last pack for the right side. Let's see what we can get here. One to the front. We've got, ooh, looks like a hollow at least. That one dude from Sun and Moon. Zubat, a Metapod, Firo, and a Hollow Golem. So, right there is the right side of the box. One GX so far, and unfortunately, we have pulled our Secret Rare for the box. There is always the chance, though, we could get a second one, and maybe even a second Trainer Rare, who knows? So I'm going to take a quick break, let this camera sit for a few minutes, cool down a bit, just in case I don't want to take any chances this time around, and I will be right back. Alrighty, guys, I am back organize the little area here a bit just so we can get a little bit more room to see the cards better but we are on to the left half of the box here and let's see if we can get some extraordinary luck and pull another secret rare or a trainer rare we got a layer on a pukey mukey and there is our second gx first 
Tag Team GX, Buzzhole and Faramosa. Now this is my favorite GX of this set. So very happy to pull a second one. I mean, this art, I can't even get it in the sleeve. Okay, there we go. The art on this card is just insane looking. I love this so much. I would really like to pull the alternate art of it. Okay, let's see what we got. Second pack here, one to the front. Okay, we've got Blue Search, a Riolu, Aaron, a Tangela, and a Genesect. Oh, so, I mean, we're maybe looking at one more GX if this is a normal box. Oh, come on. Give us, give us something a little bit more than that. We've got, what was that? Perugly, there we go. A Fero, Golbat, Hitmontop, and a Hollow Slowbro. Which, I think I only pulled one of those in the first box. I think. Okay. Next pack here. We've got this old guy that I still can't remember the name of. Meltan, a Squirtle, Metapod, and a Sand Slash. Are those the same? They are the same artist. I was just like looking at that as I put it down. I was like, you know what? Those look very similar. Kind of the same background too. I mean, Metapod's laying there on the grass and then you got Sand True up in the tree. That's pretty cool. I do like it when artists use like the same general background for different cards. Kinds of, kind of gives you the sense like they're all in the same area. Pretty cool. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, at least a hollow there. We've got Tangrowth, a Zubat, Sand Shrew, another Laron, and there we go. Hollow Stack Attacka. My favorite hollow of this set. Very happy with a second one of those. And I think I have like four of the promos now. I've ordered from Plaza Japan. Okay. Let's see here. About halfway done with the left side, we've got a little one Doug Trio, a War Twirtle, Spiro, a Drowsy, and that dude again. Which he is a full art in this set too. I just forgot about until now. So, and yeah, that would be nice. I, I'd take him if we could get him. We've got another a Beast Bringer, Slowpoke, and a Lolan Diglett. Ekans and Blastoise GX as our final GX of the box. Once again, not upset about this. So that gives me two Blastoise GXs and the full art, which I'll take that. That is completely fine with me. I mean, I do really like the art on this card. It's a little derpy looking, but you know what? It's still cool. Still think it looks awesome. We still just need a normal Venusaur GX. We can have the whole, whole Kanto Trio final Evos. Okay. Let's see. We got another, what is that? I think it's like abandoned power plant. Geodude, a Caterpie. Aaron and a Butterfree. What do we got left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. So, yeah, halfway through now. Still nothing crazy though. Come on. This hat, this left hat's gonna be just awful. <laughs> we got a Graveler, Tangela, a what is your name again? Blaming out. There we go. And another hollow. Crobat. Oh, there's our first double of hollows. Okay. Come on. Starting to run out of room again. Tell you what, these packs laying them up here take up so much space. We've got Metal Core Barrier. I think that's what that is. Riolu. Puky Muki. A Golbat. And okay. I will take a double of Mel Metal there. Very nice. Did I get did I get two Mel Metal before? I might have. All right, winding down here. Five packs left. Let's see what we can end with. Can we pull something else before the end of this video? We got a Metapod and another Genesect. 
Man, that's only like the second Genesect that we pulled too. I really do like the art on that one too. Very cool looking card. Wish it was hollow though. Let's see here. We've got Sand Slash, another Pukey Mukey. Tons of Pukey Mukies. A Tangela, Aaron, and oh, I forgot about this one being in this set. We've got a Katana there, the weird Ultra Beast Grass type. Three packs left. Come on. Let's end on a high note. One to the front. We've got Tangrowth, a Geodude, Slowpoke, a Lolan Diglett, and another Metal Core Barrier. I don't think I've seen anyone pull a gold card. I am behind on some people's videos, so, I mean, they might have. But I haven't seen a lot of gold cards coming out this time around. We've got Abandoned Power Center, Glammeow, a Drowsy, Graveler, and another Hollow Lucario. All right, winding down our final pack of this second box of SM9B, Full Metal Wall. Let's see what we can end this video with. Will we get a second Secret Rare? Will we get a second Trainer Rare? Or will we get just probably nothing? It's probably gonna be nothing. Let's see, we got D Evolution Spray, a Melmetal, Ekans, Sandshrew, and finally we have a Hypno. Just a normal Hypno. Not a terrible box. Definitely did not meet up to the expectations of the first box. I mean, we did get some doubles on some hollows I did like. Of course, the Beast Ring Trainer Rare is a nice touch, though it is my second one. I would have liked to pull maybe Acerola or basically any other one that I didn't have, but that's all right. I'm not gonna complain. I did pull two in the first video. Let's go over our pulls here real, real quick. We did pull Celesteela GX, which was one GX we did not pull in the first box. So happy about that one there. We did get another Blastoise GX, very cool GX there. And yes, the one GX I am very happy to have pulled. My favorite GX of this box, Buzzhole and Feramosa Tag Team GX. Seriously, I love the art on this card so much. Very cool card. And then our SR for this box, is the Full Art Blastoise GX. Not an expensive card to say the least, but it does look nice. I do like the blue background there and Blastoise is just cool. You can never go wrong with Blastoise, come on. So I will take this after that amazing first box we did have. But alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. Like I said, I have found some very odd Pokemon things here on Amazon Japan. Maybe odd's not the best word. It's stuff that I've never been able to normally buy because it's, I don't know, just kind of harder to get this stuff from Japan, especially for a decent price. I don't want to say anymore. Just stay tuned. We'll probably have the first of the videos up next week sometime. There are a few more things I'm going to order tonight. But either way, stay on the lookout for all of that odd stuff I keep talking about. But as always, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.